the cause was power line, understood you want to know who owns that power That's line. Why I want to know who owns it, who services it, who looks at it, who took a picture of it. What went wrong in February to result in the single worst wildfire in Texas history, burning more than a million acres in land and killing two people? That's the focus of a new House investigative committee, which held its first hearing Tuesday in the panhandle town of Pampa. Those investigative reports attributed the cause and origin from a power line. They did not specify who owned that power line. With that in mind, at least one company has acknowledged some level of responsibility in that deadly wildfire known as the Smokehouse Creek Fire. In a statement last month, XL Energy, an energy company that operates in the Panhandle, says it acknowledges that its facilities appear to have been involved in an ignition of the Smokehouse Creek Fire, but goes on to say the company disputes claims that it acted negligently. But the House investigation goes beyond that, asking the question, did officials adequately respond to the deadly fire? Questions arose of miscommunications between state and local officials in those early days. The lack of communication started with, uh, we didn't have any, any airplanes and nobody knew it. In fact, the Texas Division of Emergency Management Chief Nim Kidd told the committee Texas itself does not own any fixed-wing firefighting planes. He says most of them in Texas are privately owned and under contract, and others are contracted from the federal government. Does Texas need its own aircraft? If you ask me that, my answer is yes. Did the federal government not have the contracts in place before this fire started? The answer to that is yes, they did not have those contracts in place ahead of time. The committee still has at least two more days of hearings this week. Where they determine the blame lies could shape the dynamic between state and local officials in disaster response. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.